I think it's, it's a, a great opportunity for our team. I'm excited about going on the road for the first time. You know, I think you find out a lot about your team when you, when you go on the road. And uh, this is uh, not just any place we're going. This is a huge, huge challenge uh, with NC State. Uh, it's, uh, they got good players, and this is a very tough place to win. Uh, there's, there's no doubt about that. We know that as, as, as well as anybody. And uh, to be honest, we will have to play our best game to this point. Uh, NC State, offensively, very impressed with what they're doing. Uh, they do a lot of the sim some of the similar things that we do, uh, different in some ways too, but um, they know what they're doing. They really want to run the football. Uh, they're very committed to that and, you know, get a lot of big plays as a result from a play action standpoint. That's, that's where most of their big plays have come from. So we've got to uh, do a great job there, love their backs. they got a couple guys that are big and strong, run really hard. Uh, the quarterback is a big, strong guy. He's very instinctive. He's made a lot of plays for them uh, as far as being able to have some very timely uh, first down scrambles in third and medium situations. So uh, he's got a good feel of, the, of, of in pocket presence. Uh, their offensive line is big. Um, they're six, seven, you know, type guys. I think I think their right tackle is about 350 or so. And then uh, Crisp over on the left side is he's about six, seven. Very familiar with those guys, uh, so you know we'll have to play well uh, against them. They, they're doing a really good job. Defensively, uh, very active. Uh, I, I think you know this is you know based on what we've seen on film, this is the best group we've played to this point. Uh, that first group is is very very good. Uh, they they they're creating new line of scrimmage. They come off the ball with a uh, great motor and intensity. They play well with their hands. There's a lot of movement, a lot of slanting. And so you know, they're, not, they're, they're uh, creating some problems as far as being able to target guys uh, with, with the movement that they present. So we've got to do a good job there. And uh, you know, they're, they're leading tacklers, their middle linebacker, uh, Robert Caldwell. Uh, so we've been, we've been uh, messing with Robbie all week, uh, having some fun with that. And uh, very, very, very good in the secondary. Uh, you know, their, their DBs, their corners in particular, are, are very aggressive. Uh, they'll mix it up from a coverage standpoint, challenge you. And so our receivers are going to have to show up. They're going to have to show up and they're going to have to accept the challenge because uh, these guys are playing with a lot of confidence and, and going to present some, uh, uh, some, some challenges to our guys. You know, since we hadn't had an opportunity to get together last week, it came out that, that Clemson uh, was ranked 21st in the U.S. News uh, rankings, uh, public universities. and. You know, that's a, that's a real testament to President Barker and his leadership, and, uh, you know, it should be recognized. Uh, so, and I know he's on his way out, but he's, he's done an outstanding job in uh, helping us, you know, as a university get to where we are. Different. Yeah, yeah, there's just different philosophy, uh, philosophy-wise. I mean, I, you know, listen, Coach O'Brien's team's played hard, played tough, uh, very difficult. I mean, it kicked our butt two years ago. Uh, we went up there and, and, you know, that was about as miserable a game as, as I've, I've one, of, one of the most miserable ones I've been through. We didn't even give ourselves a chance. Uh, you know, they played on a 20-yard field. We played on a 100-yard field. Not a good recipe. Uh, so uh, they still playing hard. Uh, just the philosophy has changed. Uh, and that's offensively in particular. You know, just very different in what they do from an offensive standpoint. Uh, quarterback uh, is much more of a factor in the run game. Uh, you know, as far as called runs with the quarterback, it wasn't really something that they did a lot uh, with. Even when they had Russell, uh, you know, they were still more uh, traditional uh, type of offense. But uh, with what they're doing now, very, very uh, difficult from a formation standpoint. Lots of shifts and motions. Uh, they try to outflank you quickly, whether it's the speed sweeps or getting the ball in the perimeter right now uh, with the screen game. So. Uh, just just create more challenges uh, from a from a philosophy standpoint uh, than what they were doing previously. <laughs> That's been my philosophy. It didn't start two years ago. Uh, it didn't it didn't take a butt whooping to start thinking that way. It's just you know I mean I'm 43, uh, but sometimes when you're dealing with a bunch of 18 and 19 year olds, uh, it might take a little longer for them to figure that out. And we're a young team. I mean it's just that simple. I remember two years ago very well and. Um, you know, 42 freshmen on the roster. Y'all have heard me say that many times, and that's what you got. Half your team is, is very young, and then when we go down there to Georgia Tech and we get beat, 
I think we were like eight and one when we went up there, and we're still, I think, a top ten team. But it's like the world was over. The world was over. You know, all of a sudden now we're not. Because I think we were number four or five when we got beat by Georgia Tech, and now all of a sudden the world's come to an end. Oh my gosh, you know, uh, you know, we 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 we've blown it. And I just don't think we we're very focused. You know, we weren't very mentally tough. You, listen, you, that's our. That, the, I think they guys learned through that process of the season always starts tomorrow. You put and put everything you got. This is the biggest game of the year. Period. It's not the one we've already played. It's not the one we're going to play. This is the biggest game of the year, and just that mentality, I think, has uh, has finally kind of crept into our team. And uh, doesn't mean we're not going to lose a game, uh, you know. Cause, and when people say, "Oh, you shouldn't lose a game to somebody," should, well, listen, you, you got to give the other teams some credit too. I mean, you know, other teams have good players. Everybody's got good coaches. Uh, it's hard to win. It's hard to win. I, I, rankings have nothing to do with it. It's about 100 yards, 53 and a third, and what you do in between those lines. And, and none of the rest of that stuff matters. Uh, it really doesn't. And that's what makes college football so much fun. You know, so uh, you play the games and you see what happens at the end of the year, and then everybody can debate on all the other stuff. But the mentality of whatever happens in a ball game, the season starts tomorrow, and this is the biggest game of the year, regardless of whether you won or you lost. If you can have that, then you have a chance to have a very consistent team and program, and at the end of the year, be in the mix. But if you, you know, lose a game and you sit around and you, you know, the old saying, you can't let one game beat you twice. And I, and I, you know, I think that we had a little bit of that lingering effect when we went up to uh, Raleigh a couple of years ago, and we didn't play well. And that's nobody's fault but mine. It's my job to have the team ready. If they're not ready, that's that's on me. Bottom line. And we go up there and. Uh, we, 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 we have what we call a, a plan to win. Well, we executed a plan to lose. Uh, four turnovers and, like I said, three of them inside our own 20 against a good football team at their place. You can't win. You can't win that way. Uh, it just don't matter who you play. Uh, and you know, so I think uh, hopefully you know, our guys that we have on this team have grown through their whole career experience and, uh, you know, they'll put their best foot forward. And – you know, and not lose the game. If you get beat, you get beat. But let's don't let's don't lose the ball game. 